All right, so I'm here at, at studio, studio Scene. Uh, these guys, Lewitt, uh, they've invited me over here. And uh, I don't really have a plan. I'm going to try to ask the brands around here to tell a little bit of a story about their brand. Something interesting, not something standard. And I'm going to have to set the record straight with Zynaptic. So let's do that. And let's get started. This is Gabriel from Tegler, and what do we need to know about Tegler? Uh, we are Tegler Audio. We really believe that the fight between analog and digital audio must end. So that's why we have the best tube equipment, uh, transformer equipment, and they are all digitally recallable so that you can finally, in your DAW session, recall all the settings that you were using in your sessions without needing to touch it. And at the same time, you can enjoy the analog warmth and beauty of the sound with the practicality of the, um, of the digital world. I think that's our main mission, I would say. Awesome, thank you. So this is Alex from Sonnable, and he has a very interesting fact about Sonnable that you don't know yet. So like most people of you know Sonnable for the plugins that we do, but we also do a lot of 3D audio, uh, but not in the field of plugins or so, but for, for example, installations for universities, measurement systems, and we also have a speaker with 20 sites that's able to reproduce 3D audio fields uh, in any room with just one speaker. It's great trying it out, it's a bit expensive, and it's more like for, the, for, for universities and sound artists, but I think it's something that, yeah, interesting to know about a company that's known for plugins. Awesome, thanks a lot. So this is Manuel from Clem Music Technology. And he's going to tell you something about Telefunken. Yeah, hello. I want to tell you something about our M80s. You can switch the heads and so you can com combine the colors the way you like. So you have a red microphone with a white head, for example. Cool. Really nice. <laughs> this is Walter. And he's going to tell you something interesting about Austrian audio. Austrian audio products actually do follow a very special philosophy, which is that we do always add some special industry unique features to our products. No matter whether we talk, for example, about our ceramic housing on the large diaphragm uh, capsule that we designed, or if we talk about the open uh, acoustic mechanical design on our microphones, when we talk about our large style from microphones. We just not ended the concept on a professional microphone design itself. We again added some value, which is a second output, so that you can uh, get two signals of the front and back capsule into your uh, DAW, and then do various microphone adjustments in the post-production once the signal was already recorded. 100% unique feature in the Pro Audio world. Thank you. This is Valerie and she's going to learn you something about Lewitt that you didn't know. Yeah, actually, uh, did you know that you can use our magnetic pop filter to unscrew stuff as a screwdriver? We will check that out because I would like to get the wrong side machine and let's try to get it there and to unscrew it. Yeah, I'm all for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is Ruben, and he's going to tell you something interesting about Illusia. Hello, um, we are really happy to be a manufacturer of this gear, so we are passionate in manufacturing the stuff. We have a very indie production line, so we mill our front panels ourselves, we do laser engraving, we do picking place boards and uh, check everything, so we are passionate in making great gear for you. Awesome, thank you. All right, hey, how's it going, all you White Sea fans? Glenn Fricker here from the Spectre Sound channel, uh, and I'm kind of guest hosting here because we want to interview this guy. I'm Dennis from Synaptic. Hi, guys. 
So the story goes, White Sea kind of explained to me, he did a review on a plugin you did, and you weren't happy about that. Yeah, he was kind of going on about there was no loudness compensation and loud there is always better and there's like this button for it that's like right next to the output gain and I figured he might have taken five seconds more time to like find the button. But it's more fun. It's more fun when you do the video. See, I found the mistake. I found the mistake. See, because believe me, I, I suffer from that too. And I have definitely fucked up, as you guys have shown me. I mean, like, I'm like, I reviewed one of those $35 <laughs> microphones, and it turns out I had it facing the wrong way. So I get it. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, hey, turn the mic around. It sounds a whole lot better. Yeah. So it happens. We're human. We're not perfect. Really? So, yeah. I thought you were fucking robots. No, no, no. That's just most modern metal drums because drummers can't fucking play to save their lives. So. Obviously, yeah, White Sea fucked up. So I was suggesting, you know, the way to make it better, to rectify this situation, the fact that White Sea fucked up. Nice job, by the way. <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know, I originally suggested a bare knuckle boxing match. Um, and then he, he thought that might have been a little much. So I'm thinking maybe just about a straight punch in the nuts. Yeah, well, may maybe I just show you where the button is real quick, you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do we have okay. it in front okay. here? Fully okay. Yeah, okay, okay, the, the, okay. The, There's the a button over here, it's called... Oh, look at that! CMP for compensation. Okay, well, that maybe you can rename that because that just looks like comp. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Doesn't very... that start to compression? Okay, I, I can see why, <laughs> how he would miss that. Maybe change that to, like, uh, auto or something like that. That way the bass players in White Sea Studios wouldn't miss it. I'm now at the same level as a bass player. Well, you fucked up, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I could call it No Snake Oil Button. Oh, wow. Somebody is getting trashed today. Damn. Maybe maybe it'll glow in the dark green, this button, idiot. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, yeah, but seriously, that looks like cump. <laughs> yeah, like compensation. Yeah, but it just looks like cump. <laughs> what the fuck does cump mean? Well, I've never never seen a cump button before. Well, if it looks like cump, you must have some idea of what cump is. I didn't. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at it. It's like what it just looks like. Cump? That's exactly the point. That's I, why he you missed a it. Cump? Maybe I don't know. Are you a cump? I don't, what is a cump? That's exactly my question. Nobody nobody knows. So maybe maybe change that day auto a gain or something like that or maybe. auto or something. Yeah, I, I might do question. That. Yeah. What exactly does this plugin do? Oh, it makes you coffee, and it makes good clickbait for his videos, and uh, no, actually, it's a thing that uses facial recognition to discern details from the broad strokes content of your audio, Okay. and then allows you to, like HDR does for photography, oh, okay. you can bring up the details um, to make your sound more dense and more detailed. It does make it louder on average, but it does way more than that. Okay. Um, so it, it lives great on the drum bus, on, on violins, on, on your two track, if it's not already slammed. Okay. You know, I think in that video that we're talking about, you had this track that was already mastered and white noise spectrum like, really loud and dense. Yeah, it's not gonna do a lot for that. Nothing will. In, the, in this so. case, the only other thing that was dense in that video was the host. Well, uh, no comment, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, anyway. So that is uh, Synapia. I think I might want to check this out for my channel too. Try it on a drum bus, something like that, and that might be fun. I'll have to get your business card. Anyway, uh, just clearing up a little bit of a kerfuffle there from Studio Scene and Mannheim Journey. Uh, this is Glenn Fricker, uh, temporarily hosting White Sea Studios. Thanks for watching, subscribing, all that good stuff, and make sure you tell him to get more metal content on his show. Ha, 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 ha.